My name is Colin Jones and I am a partner in the construction and engineering team. In regard to the type of clients I work for, pretty much anyone involved in construction. So it could be a contractor or a subcontractor, construction professionals such as architects and engineers, people that make and manufacture products and equipment, and then also those that fund projects, whether banks or other financial institutions. And then a whole gamut of groups involved on the client side, whether developers or occupiers and purchasers. And then we have our specialist sectors. So for example, we do an awful lot with education groups, schools and colleges and universities, uh, and then charities and parts of the public sector too. So quite a broad spread, but people involved in construction in one form or another. But also I get involved when, I sometimes say when the roof falls in. So I get involved in the claims or the disputes which might arise, whether that's taking a client through a process involving the court or arbitration, or construction has its own dispute resolution procedure called adjudication. Another part of my practice is public sector procurement. Uh, and that's involving advising the public sector or contractors and others getting involved in construction uh, for the public sector and where the public sector is procuring contracts for works, services or supplies. The sorts of questions that clients ask very often involve why do we need quite so much paperwork? Why do we need so much detail? And the response to that is that contracts are always a balance of risk and construction is full of risk. Um, you've fundamentally got to make sure you're very clear as to what is to happen, what works are to be undertaken, what supplies are to be delivered and procured. But also there's lots of other factors involved in the construction process. The management, the dealing with payments, insurance, uh, what happens if someone wants to make a change to the works to be undertaken. And then also what happens if it doesn't go right and there's a problem, so disputes need to be managed carefully in the construction process as well. I very much like simple agreements, uh, less is more, but ultimately our job is to get the right terms in place for our clients depending on which element of a construction project they're involved with. My top tip is we don't bite. <laughs> Whatever project you're involved with, across the team we've got decades of experience coming at it from different angles. So pick up the phone, send us a message, or however you want to get, get in contact with us. We'd really like to help and guide you through what you're going to go through.